How to troubleshoot and repair an electric water heater. Electric water heaters are high voltage 240 volt appliances that are dangerous to work with when the power is on. Before checking any electrical parts of a water heater, shut off the power to the heater's circuit by turning off the appropriate breaker in your home service panel breaker box. A water heater that produces no hot water may not be getting power, or it may have a tripped limit switch or one or more failed heating elements. First, check the water heater's circuit breaker in the service panel to make sure it hasn't tripped. If the breaker has tripped, switch it off, then switch it back on again. If your water heater is producing hot water, but not enough of it, your unit could be too small to meet the household's hot water demand. Make sure the demand does not exceed the capacity of the water heater. The water heater should have 75% of its capacity as hot water. For example, a 40-gallon water heater is properly sized for a demand of 30 gallons. If the demand is too great for the heater capacity, try to limit the length of showers and or install a low-flow showerhead and spread out dishwashing and laundry to different times of the day. Too much hot water can be almost as frustrating as not enough hot water. If you're experiencing this problem, it's possible that one or both of your water heater's thermostats is set too high. Water leaks usually are caused by leaking valves and plumbing connections, but they can also be related to tank problems. Leaking water can cause significant damage to a home, so it is important to fix the leak as soon as possible. If your water comes out of the faucet with a brown, yellow, or red tint to it, there could be corrosion occurring inside your water heater tank or in the pipes in your home. If your water comes out smelling like rotten eggs, there could be bacteria in the hot water heater tank. You might need to replace the anode rod in the tank. Are there noises coming from your water heater? Does it sound like a low rumbling or popping noise? Or maybe it's a high-pitched whine? The noise you're hearing may be the sound of boiling water. Excessive buildup of sediment in the bottom of the tank can cause the bottom of the tank to overheat, boiling the water. The first solution to try is to drain the tank to get rid of the sediment. If that doesn't help, you may need to replace the tank. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.